Hmm. In today's episode, we're sculpting this, which means we're carving this into this. We'll show you how we do it, work some mad detailing magic, recap our sculpture, and dazzle you with breathtaking cinematics. Looking for top five entertainment in just 40 minutes? Then park it right here and stick around. Hey, hey, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, City Sculptor, and you have made your way back to Pangasas Bay. <laughs> Looks like it's a beautiful day in the bay. And we're looking in on the North Amundsen neighborhood. North Amundsen, named after Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen, who was the per first party to successfully reach both the North and the South Poles here on Earth. And this is a, it's a great little space here. It's actually a space that's nestled down into a little, little bit of a, you know, valley. And we're gonna take advantage of that today with our rail line running through the middle of it. We're gonna put quite a bit into this space. Starting down in this corner, we're gonna build out some row homes that are in a townhome configuration as recommended by one of our viewers. We'll drop in some offices as we come along here. I think we're gonna have some commercial that's gonna line up along this rail line here. I think that's a good place for commercial and mixed use and then some more residential and offices. As we start to climb our way up into downtown, which would, you know, will be a future episode here, we want a little height over there, so I'm gonna try and get some height up along this freeway as well. So there's a lot in this uh, this build that's coming up for, for us today. Uh, certainly a lot of different styles and a lot of different applications. We've got just a ton of work to jump into. With all that as a backdrop, let's do this. All right, let's dive in, shall we? So the first thing we're gonna need to do is, is of course, do some terraforming in here. And I wanna make sure that I got a nice, good elevation. In fact, I wanna use terraforming to our advantage here and bring this elevation of really the entire space up. And then I also wanna take a look at this little hill that we've got over here. I wanna accentuate that, bring this whole area up a little bit too. And just kind of create a nice little plateau here where our, all of our stuff is gonna lie here. So let's jump in and pick a spot, maybe somewhere in the middle here. I'm gonna grab that elevation right there. I'm gonna start pushing that out. Okay, sit tight while I do that. Yeah, now we've got the first side done. Let's carry that elevation to the other side. Let's just go ahead and grab that and start pushing away on the other side. Okay, now that we've leveled all of that off, Let's come back over here and create a little bit higher elevation. Maybe we'll go boop, like so. Let's see here. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Yeah, let's, let's take it up a little bit more. Not that high. <laughs> let's just grab this elevation in the middle, push that down. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And let's create a big space up top here where it's gonna be a little bit taller. Sure, something like that. Looks great. Now, while we're doing all this, I think I'll come in here and go underground with this power line just for now just to link everything back up while we're doing our, our build out. And that way we can unpause the game and let it run. All right, so now we have to figure out how to build it, get a road in here. Oh, and before we do that though, you know, if you look across the bay, you've got the consular district over here. I wanna try and line ourselves up with that. Now, in order to do that, I wanna run over across the way here. And you can see how these roads are coming out at this angle here. I want to grab a gravel road and just kind of run that out here. Boom, like so. We're gonna jump this up, not gonna go over the top of it, but I just wanna use it as a guideline. Run across here, do the same. And let's see here, bring that in here and come in as far as we can. There we go. And what I like to do with these is just, you know, typically I'll put like a little X in the middle. So that gives me north, south, east, west. The cardinals that are lined up maybe with, uh, or should I say the angles that are lined up now with that you know, that road down there across the way. So that gives us a really good little frame to work off of. Let's just kind of get rid of all this stuff along the way too. Don't need random gravel roads running out into the middle of the ocean. Now using our little compass, if you will, I want to just draw lines out. Let's go, let's take this guy straight out here. And then I want to jog him down a little bit and use that to come over here and try and get this thing lined up as close as possible to that edge there. Looks pretty straight, doesn't it? Let's come in here and terraform our land just a little bit. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna grab a medium road. We're gonna set that elevation to uh, just a little bit. Is it five? Is that the minimum you have to be in order to get it? Yeah, like the little retaining wall there. Let's see what happens if we run that along there. Well, it's gonna do a cutaway wall and I'm looking for the exact opposite effect, which is I want it to be a retaining wall so let's push this road out just a little bit. This elevation out just a little bit. It's all about working the land. All right, let's see what we got. 
Let's see what that is. Is it flat on this, uh, this side? Pretty close, and I can bring up this elevation to match the road over here, and I got this nice, neat little retaining wall on that side. All right, we're in business. All right, now I suppose we should return back over to this side here where it all started. And we've got to really make sure that we've got a road that's connecting into this main road. I'm gonna turn on my contour lines, and I wanna find a spot where the road is at the same elevation as the surrounding area. And I want to grab this, this contour line. You can see that top contour line right there. I'm just going to stem right out from there. I'm just going to drive this road out. Well, let's put it there for right now. Whoops, that was the wrong road. Let's do the four-lane divided road in instead. I'm just going to upgrade that right along the way. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then I want to need, I'm want going to have to come in here and attach this one back to that one. I think that that upper space is probably a little too aggressive. I'm going to peel it back a little bit. Yeah, that's that's more like it. And then we can come in here and have this start to taper back down to ground level. So I'm going to take this elevation here and whoops, and bring this one right down. Something like that. In fact, I could probably even come in here, cut this back. Oh, let's upgrade this to divided. And then we'll cut it back a little bit, maybe there. If I come in here and cut that off, run this back down to earth. All right, that's that's probably fair. And then I can connect this across over to there. So let's get get busy doing that. How does that look? I mean, that looks pretty sharp coming up this hill, doesn't it? So now we need to put in our major cross streets. And I wanna start by jumping in down here at the base of this little rise here. And I wanna grab a four lane divided road. Well, let's just go ahead and find kind of where the base of that rise is, probably somewhere right in here, and just push out in this direction, 160 meters to start. It's at a 90 degree angle that way. Let's do the same thing on the other side. All right, so we've got that set up. And the other thing I need to do is I need to create a bridge that comes across over here. So I'm gonna peel this back a little bit. And then I wanna grab that upper elevation there. I'm gonna set that in over here as well. And then I wanna grab that four lane divided road that's here and I wanna upgrade it to a six lane. I wanna start as a six lane here and just run that across and hopefully it'll touch down on the other side, it does. All right, so how does that look? Yeah, it's a nice big, you know, you've got a nice big retaining wall that kind of evolves into a bridge and that bridge comes across into a downtown. So now we have our first downtown entrance from the north side. We've already got those two that are coming in from the east side. And then I wanna come in here too and create another freeway crossing that comes across, say, somewhere in this range in here. Let's grab this four lane divided road and just gonna come off of here at a 135 degree angle. Yeah, because I kind of like working on in those types of angles when you're dealing with 90s and 45s and all that good stuff. We'll run that out to there for starters. And then I want to grab that same elevation, bring him across the way here. So we'll make a nice big plateau here. Maybe if I can get this up close enough to the freeway and get you up close enough to the freeway. I'll start with just a four lane and see what happens. If I run that across, it looks good. Now we can just upgrade the center section to a six lane like that. Yeah, just like to have a little extra space there on the bridge. Now with the major crossing set, we can start the arduous task of coming in here and building out the little subsections. I'm gonna start down in this little corner down here uh, and I wanna build in some commercial down along this railroad track here. And so I'm thinking what I wanna do is come off of this main arterial road here, you know, maybe about this sort of a depth. And just, I'll just run this out here as far as I can for right now. And then I wanna pick a line where I'm gonna run sort of parallel with those railroad tracks without getting on top of them. And you can see that's too close there. And now let's see here. I wonder if I can fit a parking lot. I wanna get some parking in here because I think we're gonna have a lot of um, you know higher density buildings and this medium parking lot fits just perfectly in this little spot here. In fact, no, let's put it down over here. And then I wonder if a fire station will fit into that little nook. Oh, it does, look at that, perfect. So we've got a fire station in there, a little parking lot. Those are those are going to be kind of necessary. And then I want to grab a pedestrian walkway because I want to create some walking retail in this space here. And then let's see what I've got here. There's the uh, the angle there. So I'll grab another regular two-lane road. Maybe I'll come up from the bottom and do it that way instead. 
Yeah, that way I still have lots of zonable squares in there. And then I can even come back in with another little pedestrian road right in the middle here. Just run that up to about there. And we can build this out as kind of like a little plaza of shops down in here. It would be nice to connect this corner to that arterial there with a the road. We'll come through here and we're gonna drive that 45 degree or 90 degree angle, I'm sorry, all the way down till it runs into this one. That way it intersects right there at that, at that corner there. Yeah, and that kind of makes for an interesting little spot. And then we can come back over here, cut that off. And then if I come 90 degrees over here and run out, say to here, yeah, and while we're over in this area, let's terraform off the rest of this. So let's pull these out as far as they'll go, which is probably about there. In fact, does that line up with this road here? Can I take this just straight across and connect in there? I sure can. Yeah, and if I connect into the middle there, now I've got access in and out of this little space back in here. So if we come down, there you go. All right. And then we come up 73 from this one over here. Not 72, that's close enough. I'm gonna take this one and drive it all the way down here. And then I can take this, grab a pedestrian road, and we're gonna make pedestrian space that comes off into here. Let's go out 80. Now this is just a placeholder. We're gonna come here and we're gonna go out 80. And now let's grab this nice little curve. We'll come out close to the center. There, we now we've got kind of a neat little space where we can have some interest in our, uh, you know, in our architecture. All right, so what do you say we throw down a few other, you know, other buildings in the spot? I want to put down some parking in here. Mm, let's see here. We'll just grab a medium parking lot and, will that fit? Oh, look at that. It fits right in that little corner down there. And then the other thing I want to drop into this space down here is probably just a nice little park. Yeah, you just got to have a little green space here. Let's see, does this fit? That, that'll look good. Yeah, that's a lot better. Cool. And then this is where we'll put in some sort of a, a bus tram. Oh, did I mention trams are going into this space? I don't think I did, but that's okay. Cat's out of the bag now, but we are going to run trams through this area too. All right, so now let's jump over into this space here. And what I want to do is I want to create a road here that comes off of the, um, yeah, maybe off of this intersection here, maybe line it up with that. And, and if I do that, can I get another medium parking lot in behind it? Let's just see what it does. It fits right in there. Let's do that. We're going to put this guy right there. Yeah, kind of set that up in the center of that spot there. And then we'll start working this, um, this road network in here. Just a small road network. So we're getting plenty of parking lots back in here because we've got a lot of taller residential that's gonna be back in this space and I wanna make sure we've got plenty of room to park. Now we've got all this space over here we gotta tackle. Jumping into here now, uh, let's go and tackle this upper elevation first. I wanna grab a uh, slope terrain tool here, uh, decrease our brush size a little bit, maybe down to 50, sure. And I just need to create a nice gentle rise coming up here. So we'll take this elevation, bring it on down because we need to create one access road, probably from this side here coming up, and then maybe another one over here coming over. Ooh, you know what? I think we have an opportunity to bring up this elevation of the whole thing too. That's better. With that in place there, with that taken care of, now we can come back in here and reslope this. So now I'm gonna grab this little elevation here. Start this, run this back down here like so. And I can bring a road right up there. Let's grab just a small road here, a little two lane road. Coming right off of this intersection point here. I'm gonna turn off my snap to zone length and come right out of the middle. Okay, all right, we're gonna go straight up like so. Yeah, let's get it up here into the center of the space or thereabouts. Let's just kind of run out this way. And we'll do that, 116. We'll come out of the middle here again, 120. And then if I took this and run it along here, I mean, I could absolutely get some buildings right up along that ridge, couldn't I? Mm-hmm. Let's come out from this end here and bring this down. Yeah, maybe there. And then bring that back. Because then we've got, you know, we can we can reorient our, our building squares if we need to and just, you know, create some interesting buildings back in here. Let's come out to here. 
So let's just go straight down into the middle of that one. And then I'm gonna draw a diagonal line from here over to there. What is that gonna look like? Let's just see. So there. Now we've got nice, you know, like a nice row that we can put. Uh, we can put some offices up in here. And the intent with this space up here is just really to be, um, you know, to be office space. And let's put some parking in up here because, well, we we need it. Will one fit in there? Here we go again. Let's see. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Maybe this spot right in here. Ooh, I don't know that I can because it's going to warp the the parking lot. So let's put it up closer here to the uh, to the intersection. Yeah. That'll be fine. So now we've got some parking up there. And can we use some over here? I bet we could. So if this is going to all be office towers up here, we're probably going to want to put in another piece of parking right up in this space up here. Maybe a large parking lot. That's really big. Go big or go home, though. Let's do it. Moving right along. Let's go into this space now and frame this out. This one I have an idea of is let's probably do some, you know, some medium density houses, maybe some low rent houses in here, too, just to kind of vary up the building types. And we'll just run this right off straight down here. And then we're going to come in here with some, let's do some more pedestrian roads since it's going to be primarily residential down in this area here. I'm going to take this and just grab that, push this out a little bit more just to make sure I've got plenty of room. I like that. And then I'll grab some pedestrian roads, run right straight down off of here. Do that. Yeah, that's cool. And then we're going to come across from here. This is going to be a regular road coming down here. We have to have connectivity and we'll probably actually, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe we can jump that train track and over into this area as well. We'll just come down, uh, make sure it's lined up with that. Yeah, and now we can make a nice little curvy curve. Uh, what if I use this one instead? And just come out here like so. Then they're equal, same, yeah, I like that. That's much better. There we go. Now we can, got a little interest in here. We can put some you know, buildings kind of on this curve. Yeah, that'll be cool. Okay, and then from there, I wanna come back across, maybe another pedestrian road stemming out of here. And then just drive that straight across over onto this side. Because we've got another little space back here that we need to fill up, don't we? Okay, cool. Yeah. We'll just grab this one, go straight across over here, match that up. Bring that down. Oh, we need to get some parking in here too. Hmm. So maybe just another medium parking lot, maybe right there. Yeah, okay. That's not bad. Yeah, okay. Kind of liking how this is looking. All right, let's tackle this area next. We're going to take this little road here and we're going to hop across our uh, our railroad track. And I think those are about the same height. Actually, I'm just going to run it straight out here for now just to see where we need to go. Let's just put it out here. And I want this to square up. And again, we're trying to keep this same direction heading across here so that this line here matching this line here kind of becomes the grid pattern as we work our way across the freeway. So we're going to keep this stuff in alignment here. 90 degrees, takes you all the way out to there. I hope that's going to work. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. We're going to create these little, you know, row home neighborhood blocks in here. Let's uh, put in this place here, a nice big park too, like a plaza. What do you have this large plaza? Is that centered up there? Yeah, it is. I like that. That's a big, huge plaza in there. And we can take advantage of that with some of our houses as we just kind of come right off of that. So we've got a nice little spot in here. This will be kind of an interesting, interesting layout. And let's frame this out over here now real quick. Uh, okay, so I want to take maybe this elevation and push it out just a little bit more because I'd like to connect this road, have it hop right across there. So let's do that. Come across here. Yeah. And then we'll go straight over here, put it up equal with that. Have this dive down. Maybe this comes out into this space here. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. And in this space over here, I'm thinking I want to do just kind of lower density office, just kind of more like a little office park that's uh, off the main drag here. And we can vary up our roads. Can we run that right into this? Yeah, I think it'll work. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. 
So now we're getting lots of different ways to connect into these neighborhoods back in here. I'll just add a couple more roads in here just to vary it up a little bit. All right, cool. So now we've got our road network set up for this space. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to use a trick that StuJD1539 brought up in one of our prior episodes. And I hope I'm doing it right, Stu, but uh, it sounded pretty cool. What we want to do is we want to have these European row homes put into this space here. I love the European row homes. Uh, they're super cute, but um, Stu recommends that we do them in such a way where we drop in an alleyway that runs right down the middle here, an odd number of spaces on both sides, um, you know, from the main road, and then come back in here and paint those European row homes in, maybe four deep here and we'll go four in, and then we'll go four deep and four in like this, and it creates this neat little zipper pattern. Now, I don't know if I counted these out right, and maybe it'll, it, it creates a funky little block, or maybe we can just leave this space for some, you know, some nice uh, parks or something like that, and then just repeat that pattern. So if I come in here and go four and four, and it creates what he called a zipper zipper pattern, and I've been kind of dying to try it out. So you know, Stu, hopefully I'm uh, hopefully I'm not doing it wrong, but I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, and then I can come back in here and you know cut down these little short ones like that or so, and have those fill in as long, just to try and get them all the same size. And hopefully when they fill in. It makes these nice, neat little townhome blocks that are in kind of a zipper pattern. Yeah, I think that's going to look pretty cool. Thanks, Stu. Great tip. And then let's jump into this space over here. Let's just see if we uh, let's see if we can do the same thing here. And when those fill in, they should make nice little townhome blocks. Okay, so now while all those row homes are filling in, let's jump back into here and let's drop in an elementary school. I want to put that into this space right back here. Let's see here. Get it kind of centered up on the park. Yeah, that should be a good look. Nice. And then we can come in and put in maybe down in here some medium density homes in there with maybe a four by four there. Yeah, that'll look nice. And then I can come back in with a three by three. Leave a little space here on the corner and then come in the back here and drop in two by twos, just running one every other spot here. Yeah, just to do something a little bit different. We can't expand that elementary school, but we're going to need to add, yeah, just space for more pupils. That's probably fine. I bet if we take, yeah, can we square that off or maybe take this out like so and then do the same thing coming from this side here and then come in at an angle. If I take this road out, can we then expand the school to the side? Mm, oh yeah, we can't just fit it in there. All right, let's do that. Yeah, that's a nice piece right there off of the main arterial. Ooh, that's filling in nicely. Okay, let's turn our attention to the other side of the street here where I wanna put in some, you know, some short office buildings, just, you know, uh, low density office buildings. That looks pretty good now. So we've got some larger office buildings coming, maybe some small ones in here, in here, but I like the larger sized footprints there. That should be pretty cool. Let's hop across over here to our commercial district now. We can start painting in some commercial buildings. I think that's gonna look great. All right, we'll let those fill in now. And then we can turn our attention on this space over here. So the first thing we want to do is jump in here and I'd like to, uh, I want to actually make this a pedestrian street here if I can. This one right down the middle, boom, boom, boom. And then uh, I want to make a little bus, I don't know, like another little bus plaza, something like this, where you come across here. Let's go right there. We're gonna leave one unit gap. Yeah, like that. And then let's grab our little one-way bus lines and upgrade those roads, one, two, and then grab a bus shelter and set it in there. I put the bus shelter, set it up on that light. That's kind of cool. All right, cool. So now we got two bus lines we could potentially draw in, one taking us from here back to, maybe it was over here where we had an interchange ridge. We could do that. There's a bus station over there. And then maybe the other one, I don't know, maybe that runs someplace out here into the neighborhood. Who knows? All right, okay, from here, let's take a look and see what we've got. And now what that's gonna leave us with is quite a bit more zonable space. Yeah, yeah, 
And I want to put mixed use kind of around this uh, around this area here because I think it'd be a good little interchange place to live. Yeah, that's going to be kind of neat. Yeah, I like that. And then down in this space here, let's put in some let's put in some offices. Here's the scary part. This is where we start putting in some some bigger buildings, some high density offices. I don't want them to get too high. I don't know. Let's see here. Let's go a four by four in that spot. It's going to be tall. Oh boy, the first of our big tall buildings. Scary. <laughs> uh, that I think I want to have is a low density office. So let's do a five by five in there. Yeah. In fact, I might put a low density office in here just so that it looks like it's kind of the, well, a pair of low density offices. So it looks like it's one big building complex. Let's just see how that fills in. I don't see, I don't want to do another super tall one. Ah, that's probably good. Well, it's going to be pretty tall, not as tall as the other one, but that's not bad. Okay. And then we'll do some more low densities right along this, uh, this side road here. Wait, this is five by six. Can we do it? Yes, we can. And let's do another five by five right in there. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> all right. That's cool. We'll let all those fill in and we'll move on over to this space here. So the next piece I want to drop in is, is a unique building and I want to put it into this space here. It is the Corundum Condos and I want to drop it into this space here. I don't want to just plop it down though. Uh, I think because I think it's going to be a cool looking asset. So let's come out here and build ourselves like a little circle for it to reside in. And then I can take that corundum condos and just drop that right in like that, right? Don't want to get it too close to the retaining wall. Yeah, that's kind of a nice stately piece there as you're coming into the, uh, the whole district. Yeah, I like the look of that. Now, the rest of this space in here, we're going to be filling in with, um, you know, some medium density, maybe some high density residential, that sort of stuff. And let's start with a couple of low income housing, low rent housing buildings, maybe like right against this parking lot over here. Yeah, and I want to make sure that I you know, put a couple of taller buildings in here, but not pack it in too tight. Uh, let's grab medium density North American. And then I want to put a big five by five block right there. Yeah, that's five by five and another one there. And then I want to come in here with a high density and let's do a little two by two right there. And then I want to come back in with some more medium density. But this time, I want to swap it over to European. Let's do that. And let's go a two by three there. Yeah, that's great. And then let's see if we can do another five by five that works right in here out of European. Yeah, that'll look kind of cool. Let's go two by three. Then I can come back in with some medium density, four by four right up against that. Then we're going to leave a gap of at least two. We'll do four by four again. Yeah, that should look good. And then we've got a little little bit of a buffer here. In fact, I could probably, I wonder if there's a small park that'll fit in there. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's see what grows into that space there. On to the other side of the road. I've got another unique building that I want to use. This time it'll be an office signature building and it's called Principus. Maybe if I put it in the center here, yeah, it's just going to be such a sharp drop off here. Maybe I'll have to come in with a retaining wall. Yeah, we can do that in the detailing. All right, so Principus. And that's got, uh, well, it's got some nice uh, nice pluses, doesn't it? Yeah, plus five well-being within 500 meters. That's a pretty good. It's a pretty good reach. Yeah. Ooh, that's filling in. All right, cool. Let's come in here with some offices now. Okay, now we've got all of our office stuff starting to fill in up here on this ridge. So we'll come in here and start working on this space down here. And now that I take another look at this space, I think I want to mix things up a little bit. I mean, I like the layout, generally speaking, but I think it feels a little cramped in there. So here, first thing I want to do is I want to grab this tower. We're going to connect that underground. All right, that seems like a good place to dive in. What we want to put into this space is 
you know, just medium density, uh, medium density homes and maybe some low rent homes in this space. All right, we're just going to grab North American medium density, start coming into this space here. Okay, this feels like a really good time for us to jump into a beautification time lapse because we've got a lot of work to do and I really like the way it's starting to fill in. I wanna make a few adjustments though. I've got too much height going on right over here. I think that's gonna be a little aggressive uh, and I'd like to shift some of that height over into this space here and up onto this space here as we kind of you know, try and blend that into what will ultimately be our downtown over here in the distance. I also have this parking lot here, which feels a little bit aggressive to me. Uh, and then I can take that Principus building and slide him over there just to make another iconic piece at the corner of this intersection. But all in all, I really do like the way that this is filling in. And, uh, you know, we'll do some stuff to, to mitigate traffic. Oh, and I need to drop in tram lines too. I did I did tip my hand earlier and say we're going to have tram lines running through here. We will. And ultimately, I need to connect back over to this area here. So, uh, you know, we'll just figure out where those lines are going to run. I think I've already got everything planned out. But uh, why don't you guys just sit back, relax, enjoy the time lapse, and let's connect here afterwards and recap the sculpture.
Welcome back, and I give you the North Edmondson neighborhood. Boy, I sure do like the way that this one turned out. This was uh, this was a big project. It was it ended up being much bigger than I thought it was going to be, but uh, it's got a whole variety of different you know use case scenarios, different building techniques, and it sure was a lot of fun. All right, let's just jump right on in. You know, we started down here in this corner with our you know our our townhome technique that was given to us by one of our viewers. And as you can see, it kind of created this zipper pattern as you make your way through the neighborhood with trees behind and some nice little paths and, and walkways making its way through there. I really love the way that that turned out. I think it turned out to be this cute little elegant neighborhood and especially using those European uh, row homes. I think those are just an ad, added visual bonus. We put some parking around it and then we even put in a groundwater pumping station tucked in here along the freeway. And then also nestled in behind it, we put in some nice little services. We have an expanded elementary school because we've got a lot of new residents in this area. A huge plaza, which would be a, a great gathering place uh, for all the new residents in this space. We tucked in some basketball courts right above the uh, right above the rail line. And we put in a retaining wall so that make sure that uh, people stayed safe there. And then we've got this big medical clinic right here on the corner and, and just framed that up nicely with some plantings. Jumping across. We've got our business park with our little business park sign down here in the front just to make sure that you know that it's a business park. And we've got some three and four story buildings in here that I thought maybe uh, maybe they're accounting firms or maybe legal firms or some consulting firms in this in this space. Uh, more kind of along the the white collar industry back in this space. And then, you know, let's take a look on this, this rail channel. I know we talked about at the start of the episode that this was the low spot in, in terms of elevation in the area. And I think we did a really nice job of just accentuating that. We've got some retaining walls that run up along that edge there. We did some wild plantings down along the other side here. And, and of course, the trains come and go through this little channel that's down below uh, ground level. It really helps to keep the sound level down for all of our nearby residents and businesses. Now, if you jump into this area, we've got our commercial district. And, uh, you know, it created a nice little quiet walking area. And we've got our, our pedestrian road running right down the middle of it. You can see it's getting a lot of work here, a lot of a lot of people out and about doing their shopping and so forth. And then also we've got these tram lines that are running right through the middle of it. You know, we did talk about setting up a tram network and now we've got our tram infrastructure in place. So we're ready for that when we decide to run our tram lines uh, from downtown and points east. Continuing along our journey, we've got some more parking here. Uh, I wanna make sure we had ample parking because we've got lots of activity in this space and lots of taller buildings as well. And then down in this little corner here by the uh, interstate again, or by the freeway, we've got some additional office spaces down here with a little plaza and a parking space right off the freeway. Now jumping in, we've got our top five design element here. <laughs> So for two episodes in a row, we made it a bus station, and that, uh, that, that actually kind of surprised me, but I think it was the right choice. This was our bus station, and I was really struggling. Do I use one of the regular assets that are in-game assets, if you will, or should I do something custom? And I decided to do something a little bit more custom and elegant. And you can see this bus station down in here. It's got lots of beautiful plantings. I put these little shelters up above so people could stay out of the rain if it starts to rain. And then I've got, of course, our pedestrian road right next to it with our tram lines running right by. So it's almost like a little, you know, little transportation station, if you will, right in the heart of this little district down here. Now, coming around the district here, we've got lots of, um, you know, mixed use buildings. So we've got your little corner stores and maybe uh, watering holes there at the base of these residential towers. And, uh, you know, you've got some some taller towers in the background here. You can see this condo tower, these, these condo towers up here are starting to get some height as we transition into downtown. I love the way this turned out. And of course, you've got your corner watering hole here. Is this the limbs of bar? The limbs of bar is back. <laughs> I hope the police are watching. All right, so let's jump over into our next, next little section here, which is our little walking garden. And I wanted to build something that was elegant and beautiful. And I think we've accomplished that. We've got some elevated walking paths that are, that are making their way through here, but also some surface paths as well that allow you to go in and, and you know make your way through the gardens. I think from up here, you're gonna have a beautiful view of downtown once we get finished up here. And then you're also gonna have just a nice little calming, relaxing space where you can go mill about and maybe put out a blanket and have a picnic in this lawn area. Then we jump into a high density residential area, this medium and high density, and we've got some you know, low rent buildings that are right along that elevated arterial road there, uh, along with some higher density towers here and some big medium density as well. And then we tucked in a little bit, a little bit of row housing right in there, just a cute, quaint little spot to have a place, I would think. And then of course, 
We've got a unique building in here. This unique building is called the Corundum Condos. And the Corundum Condos, I thought, was a was an elegant building, and it also gives uh, a nice plus to the well-being of all residents within a, a kilometer. So it's got a uh, it's got a good halo effect as well as being beautiful. We framed it up nicely with some, you know, walking gardens and uh, you know, elegant plantings and so forth, just to kind of set it aside as this is a a stately place, and we wanted to give it prominent location. All right, let's jump across now across this elevated road to our second business park that's uh, sitting up here on this ledge. And this is where we integrated in, again, some more lower density offices, but we did drop in this tower as well. And I like the way that this tower works in conjunction with this low density build building right here. So it makes it look like it's one big, uh, you know, tower plaza, if you will, in there with some beautiful, you know, gardens that are out in front and, and really kind of sets it aside with some walking paths and so forth. Calls attention to that. It's a big piece, but it's not an eyesore. And then, of course, sitting up on the ridge here, we've got Principus. <laughs> and Principus got a great prominent location. In fact, as you're driving up the freeway coming into this area, part of town, you can see it prominently sitting up on that rise. So I think that turned out really nicely. I was concerned initially with the, the level of change and elevation from the freeway up to this level here, but I think the retaining walls and the trees and plantings worked really nicely uh, to create kind of a, you know, a nestled uh, in elevated point here where these businesses can all have great views of downtown. And then our final piece back in here was another residential area, which I thought it was a, as a great chance for us to use some medium density buildings. Again, trying to build some elevation as we move closer and closer to downtown. We've got, uh, you know, we've got our, our row houses that are right along the frame here. And then we've got medium density in here with some low income that's kind of closer again to the, uh, to the main drag here. Although the low income's got some beautiful gardens in the background. And we put in some nice planters here in the parking lot space. All right. Well, that was quite the build out. And, uh, you know, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. This one was a, this was a lot of fun. <laughs> it really pushed me to my limits. But I love the way it turned out because I think it gives us an opportunity to transition nicely into our downtown space from what will probably be lower density residential sitting over here on the right side. You know, if you guys saw something today that you liked, feel free to leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And of course, we get, we get great suggestions from our viewers, great comments. Uh, really appreciate your help. And while you're at it, Make sure to chip away at that like button and hammer that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest here in Pangasus Bay and our Grand Vanillica series as well. <laughs> all right. Well, with that, I'm going to bid you guys a fond farewell. And until next time, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Bye.